I'm Kirsten Kierweiss, founder of Kierweiss, and I'm going to walk you through a new launch that we have of a collection of red lipsticks. So how do you pick your best red lipstick color? Really the best way of identifying that, you pick an undertone of the lipstick that goes hand in hand with the undertone of your skin color. The best way of identifying the undertone in your skin color is really to stand in front of a big window with a mirror and, and sort of looking closely at your skin tone. And you will be able to see, I think this is where I fit in. And so in my case, I have identified this color. This is called Euphoria. I am not really somebody that typically wears a red lipstick. So how I like to apply it is, I like to put a little bit on my finger and tap it onto my lips. That's like tiptoeing into a red color. So in essence, it becomes more of a stain. I'll put on a little bit more, but this to me is a beautiful way of embracing red. For me, that's enough, certainly for a daytime look, just applying it with the fingers or with the bullet, of course. But I wanted to show you this and then go into uh, a deeper application as well. So now I'm going to show you uh, a true application of a red lipstick if you want that classic full pigmented look. And I'm going to start by applying uh, a red pencil to frame the lips by painting and line my lips. I'm doing this with a color that's called Faded. You could also use this color, it's called Classic. It's a bit uh, deeper uh, in its pigment. Just making sure I'm creating the perfect lineup. Now I'm gonna fill in the lipstick and I'm actually gonna use a brush. I typically like starting with my bottom lip and then building in the upper lip. And for me, a red lipstick really should be velvety. Yet at the same time, you want it to feel really moisturizing on the lips. So the ingredients that we have in all our lipsticks are very moisturizing. There's shea butter, sunflower seed oil, rosehip seed oil. So that's the final look. And then I thought um, just to add a small amount of liner, just to emphasize the eyes, but not having it be too much. And that's it. I think I am ready to conquer the world. And I hope I am leaving you with some inspiration and ideas for how you can accomplish the perfect color for yourself. Have fun with the red colors, they're beautiful. Bye-bye.